Hey, hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last End Gamers, and welcome. So today we're back on the Mad Max server to see just what the factions have been up to. What are they building? What are they constructing? And I have to say, they've really come a long way since the last time we took a look. So first off, we're at the Rogue Traders Outpost. Now this is both a base for one of the factions and a trading outpost. We've seen this sign before, we've seen some of their decorations. They've got themselves a basic gate here and these really cool perimeter defences. Now since the last time we looked, you can see they've changed their spiked hedgehog tank stopper design and they've also added themselves some more turrets in. They've totally overhauled the size on the sort of look of the buildings. So you can see here that the buildings themselves look really like something from Fallout now. They've got these purple and white rims on the outside. But just a little bit further up the road, you'll see something that they've done that's quite funny. So over here it says, Mighty Lord Aaron, Lord of the Clean Roads, damned of the wicked, damner of anything basically. Um, Lord of the Underworld and the Unholy restored from Clang. Please fix potholes, please. <laughs> so some of the roles have got these little holes in from bad drivers. You can see the potholes happen more and more as people drive around the map. And at the moment I'm not fixing them just because it's a bit fun seeing people have to evade them. So as we come into the outpost, we've got the garage over here that's been re-venerated, you could say. Re-venerated. Reno renovated, that's the word I'm looking for. So we can now look through these new blocks back into our beautiful calendar there. That's a rover that you saw fight in the pit the other day. So if I just spawn my character in over here, we can actually have a little bit of a look around. So there's the scale of this big building as we come into this section. We've also got the trade prices of all the ores. They're, they're quite efficient. They actually have an Excel chart. So if you do want to trade with them, they can hook you up. Now we've also got the showroom, so these are vehicles that they can produce for you or they may have in stock. So it says who you can contact for the ownership and a bit of information. They've also got these little panels in front here. These little panels just display the ship on a blueprint. So if I turn this on, you can quickly see that is what that rover looks like. And it's surprising, the industrial dodgy van is doing really well. It sells a lot of models, so someone's built a, a rover very effectively. So over here we've also got some contracts, we've got the store. We've got something searching for available vending machine offers. So as we come up the stairs in the RTR, is this the RTR base? But yes, it is. There it is, the RTR. Me getting confused then for a second. So as we come up here, you can notice we are on the second floor now. So we're kind of going into their private quarters, and it's probably best to view from the spectator camera. So as we're up here, we have on this side the private garage of one of the large rovers. Over this side, we kind of have like, I don't know, maybe a trading room. You could come in here and do some trading. I'm not too sure. There's free, these free chairs, so that's for the free faction members. And you can see they've posted a lot of pictures of their adventures on the server from different places when they first found the base and established the sign, claimed the area. So a really cool little story behind this outpost has started to emerge. Upstairs, they're trying to renovate the place. You can see there's some basic renovations going on. There's some rooms to sit, eat, diner, some more respawn points. You've got some more little briefing areas and dining halls. Very nice. They've, they've really changed these buildings up, but there's still a lot of work for them to do with them. So if we come over here, We've had a look in the garage. We've also got the construction of this building that's referenced as the the Aaron Clang building because I stuck this sign up there on top. And they're currently trying to renovate that and change, just basically adjust it up and make it into a new structure. Over here, we also have their other little hangar. So nothing too much in stock at the moment, apart from their thousands of police cars that we see roaming the wasteland. Now, this is where it gets quite interesting. Under this base, they actually have themselves the sleeping quarters. They have themselves the grinder pit, and they have a fallout shelter that leads to a secret room down there. Not yet finished, but it'll be interesting to see exactly what they do with it. So zooming out, we've got one more thing to show you at this outpost, as well as a little rover over there. We've got one of these new little ships they've been working on. So this is actually known as the Slaver, I think they've been calling it. So there's a ladder access at the back. And as we step in here, you're taking down this nice corridor where there's these cells for passengers that they pick up when they're traveling the wasteland. They've got the two cockpits down there, the turret control there for the turret on the roof. And as I first went around this corner first time, I was so confused seeing all this nice little space engineer sign. And then up here, we've just got ourselves some cargo storage and a seating area as well as that balcony to fire out from. Very, very cool indeed. 
So let's just have a quick look at that turret. So it's a simple turret design. You can see that the grid's there. Rotate over, turret on the side with camera. So there's limited arc with this turret. They've also got themselves a turret up on the top here to protect themselves from anyone coming in from the main road. But still, a fantastic little outpost with some really cool features. And I love how they, they're literally going around this road and circling potholes and other little points like this. This is a little bit of a sign saying stop. Warning, you're entering road traders controlled territory. So this is just on the edge of their control ball. This is a trading station. Apply for peace with us in order to enter. So really cool. They thought out this outpost really well. And over the horizon, it looks fantastic. Let's continue on. There's plenty more to see. So many of you have been asking about Wizard and his faction. What has he been up to? Now, since we last looked at his rover, he was roaming the wasteland. He's actually established a small outpost now where he can hide for the night, so to say. And he's changed up his rover for the large wheels. Now, the reason for this is he can actually fix his ship up a lot more efficiently with the larger wheels using the large welders you can see that they're tucked inside there and you can just keep rolling across the terrain where the small wheels were popping quite often now down here him and exotic have been working hard on some more interesting rovers so this is another one of them gyroscopic type miners that can mine up and down you can see he's up here on the catwalk working hard to test out these designs and they've only got a few rovers between them but since they live out of the rover as they roam around, a small base like this is all they need. Anyway, let's continue roaming on. So now we've headed over to the HOH base. Now, these guys always have their act together, and you can see they've got some really cool defenses already set up. So the first stage of their defense you can see from the outside here is they built this half-constructed bridge, and this means if they're under attack and they're risking someone breaching the perimeter, they can sever the bridge and stop them accessing it while they defend from afar. They've got their usual turrets that they've redesigned their base wall. You can see that they're doing some testing out here over at the entrance as well. The sensor has activated and the door has dropped down. Now there is some new areas to the outpost. When we came through here before, it led to a flat plane and the rear of their outpost entrance. This is now a parking area for some very, very large rovers. So what you can see here, we've got three of these small little ones. We've got this massive one that's parked here. Each one of these has a large turret on top. Well, it's a small grid Gatling gun turret and players are really evolving some cool tactics on how to use these. They've also got some sort of party type bus on the right there. I think it's like a transport. But you can see they've got these other really cool rovers with rockets at the front. There is a lot of firepower going on here. Something really to look out for when you're roaming the wasteland. They've also got some smaller rovers tucked in here at the back. That one almost being crushed by the large rover of, the, well, of that wheel there. The large rover that we saw before was lost in battle, I believe, sometime last week. But you can see all of these different vehicles have just slowly been modified. So the drill ship there is now not just a selection of boxes and drills. It's actually a well-organized machine with these cool catwalks allowing you to access it. The catwalks are perfect for the Mad Max server. They really allow us to do some fantastic things. So entering back into the base, we can cut through here. We can see one of the players actually driving through the outpost using his road very cool to see <laughs> and let's actually enter up into the main part of the base so as we came up before the layout of this place hasn't really changed too much you've still got the grinder the weld pit on the left hand side you've got a construction yard over here someone building more bikes you've got apathy's cool little go-kart here he can use to get around the facility as well as cut some people's legs off with that ramp but as we continue on, we've got the other parts of the bunker here. We've got lights on. We've got clones on clones of these vehicles so that they can use them at their will. There's no worry of risking a rover in a fight. So you can also see these that <laughs> crazy looking rover as well. Supplies on the back, turret on the top. Cool little combination. There is plenty of different vehicles in here. We've even got one of Shuck's tanks, I believe. So we've also got snipes. They've, they put these little areas above their rover where they can just chill out and you can also see that there's some other vehicles tucked away back here this looks like another one of them party bus designs oh no their jukebox is on top this is this is some sort of war wagon definitely if you stick a mixture of jukeboxes and a vending machine on top launching clan oh that could be a clan caller launcher very cool craft let's have a look at the disco inside so yeah it's got seating got lights going off it's got everything you need for a mobile disco so let's go back into their restricted area so last time i was not allowed past this section there's too many secrets but i'm gonna venture in past their secret blast door lock past their super security level bunker with all sorts of sensors set up 
and here we have a little med bay. So as we lead through this shaft, you still see a lot of these areas that need to be completed, but they've been working very in depth about getting their supplies and structures online, their supply containers, as well as their various other secret little med bay rooms and stuff back here. It's always great to have a labyrinth like this because if someone breaks into your base, they'll struggle navigating the rest of these systems. So if we just keep ducking in and out of these various other buildings, you can see we've got that pool table room that's no longer being used. We've also got a little secret VIP kitchen down here, like a fallout shelter. This whole place kind of reminds me of fallout shelter. It's funny that a lot of outposts have kind of done that sort of theme. They've built a base and then underneath it, they've built themselves a secure access bunker. So you can see little mini homes down here. And they've also got little go-karts to navigate through the tunnels that I think is really quite funny. Oh, a lovely idea, an absolute fantastic outpost down here. Works really well. How have really got it coming together. Anyway, let's continue on. So we're now heading back into the PGW base. Now what's quite cool about this place is they have this fantastic wall type construction that we've seen before. So let's dip inside and see what's new. So apart from their existing base, this was their original little base that they built in this little cabin here. You can see that they've built themselves like what it looks like some sort of little tent area, some sort of storage for rovers. They've also left a little sign up. Notice to all MBS members, large cargo alpha is components only. So I love these little notes they leave around for each other. We've also got something down in the grinder pit that they've claimed. Another cool little tow truck. Look at that. Look at that war, war sort of looking tow truck. It's got a little piston thing on the back. <laughs> that is damn awesome. PGW guys must be recovering some robbers. Let's have a sneak peek inside one of their bunkers though. So going inside the bunker, we can see we've got a selection of different cars. We've got some of their motorbikes. We've got some of their vehicles. We saw, I'm sure we saw this one at the auction. Or we saw it near the auction area. You can see they've got a few different variants of these really cool Mad Max types vehicles. We've also got a look at this. Now this was one of the vehicles that was suggested to us as our new respawn vehicle for the server. So we're doing some more testing with that at the moment. We've also got a nice colour changing rover there itself. And the hangar itself is quite empty. So let's continue in next door. So that just takes you down into the facility. That I'll just quickly show you from an outside perspective. So there is a lot going on in here underground but the main part of it is being a functional outpost so that means it's assemblers, components and just construction it's purely functional it's not going to be a beautiful looking system under there it's just to be a lace of pipe so going down into here we also have the welder room so you can pull a quick ship or vehicle out there if you want so you can see they've got a little repair sign up there now outside their first perimeter wall so if the first wave or wall did fall they could always fall back into here they have their secondary outpost so we have some more dust runners you can see a lot of these vehicles have probably been bought from one of the other factions or they've been printed off because you can see this dust runner is, is really prevalent on this server. Everyone seems to own one. We've also got this large turreted rover up here with the rotor sort of swapping head type design. And then the turrets out there on top. That could seriously deliver some firepower. Now coming around the, si the side here, we have something that looks seriously scary. If this thing gets completed, these guys are going to have almost a Morse type tank on the server. Now that is super scary, but at the same time, damn awesome. That turret is going to obliterate any ship it faces. So over here, we've also got ourselves some other small little rovers. So you can see this particular one looks like it's a large storage rover with a tiny controllable turret on the back. And it looks like they're just roughing out a sort of bunker complex here. They're still halfway through construction of it. There's no roof on it just yet. Unless this is part of their design where they're going to leave it open top so they can get rovers in and out. Another welder wall. And we've also got this semi-completed bunker here. This reminds me of some sort of airbase type bunker for some reason. And we've got a rover tucked inside there. Now we've seen this rover right from the beginning. It's took a lot of different shapes. I remember when it was just that piston on the side. And you've got the wheels around there and the refinery in the back a very cool bunker system you can also see what they're doing here is some risky road type oh god well they, they, they get they're getting solar panels up but they've connected them via a landing gear that might be a little bit dangerous to create a ramp like that 
risky roads, I tell you that. That is some dangerous business that they're doing there. So pretty cool overall design, really nice outpost, and I'm really excited to see just how that tank is coming along. You can also see they've got a little bit of the mining project going on through here as well. So into the secret bunker they go. <laughs> it's not quite a bunker, I think. This is some sort of piping tunnel that they've been digging to such an area. Interesting, I'm not too sure exactly what that is, but a fantastic outpost. Let's continue on. So as I've been traveling the roads of the wasteland, I have come across a stop and serve. 300 meters, Greasy's grub house. Please turn off your weapons, please be friendly. So this is a little outpost or a sub outpost of MBS that they've built here. They've got some signs representing various different factions. Hounds of Hell, don't come to us, we come to you. You've also got one of the other signs of the other factions at this place. We've got ourselves a sheriff's office. So this place is almost like a little bit of a miniature town that's under semi-construction. You can see that we've got some mini blocks in this section. We've got a jailhouse door that's been created there. A, a bit proppy this town for some of you more functional survival bits. You can see one of the guys going past on a rover doing a wheelie. We've got a little bit of a stopping point where you can off offload supplies and you can see the stop and serve there, MBS. Some really nice logos around this place. So we've also got like a little bit of a cattle pen here. So what's this? Oh, that's the scrap yard. And we've also got over here, what's this? Pa uh, rover parking very cool indeed it's like a little welder ship there a place where community members can travel to have some fun have a chat maybe do some training you can see roadhead members minus sc so the bo the bounty board currently says if you kill a, a roadhead member that's a member of the admin faction you can see there's a wanted picture i wonder who that is <laughs> <laughs> Very cool indeed. So if you kill a member, they're going to give you some credits by the look of it. We've also got over here, what's this? This is another one of the stop and serve type buildings. It's got like little shelves. It's a cool little convenience store with booze and whatnot. An ATM. And they've got some prices on fuel. And it also says, we buy ice and we buy uranium. <laughs> Very cool little outpost. What's in the back here? So you've got like a little section that leads back around to the front very cool little sort of stop and search not stop and search stop and serve so you can see we've got the greasy's grub house so a little bit of a diner here with the jukebox of course we've got some tables out there they've got the menu <laughs> we got some really cool different things going on here really nice little combination of small blocks in here as well just to add some detail and then make sure to name them so that is one of the locations through this area really cool indeed so they've also got these little signs up the roads that say that when you're approaching it originally this did have a safe zone around it but we've told them that we can't stick one on at the moment in time due to it being a longer main road so pretty cool little place let's continue on so to bring this one to a conclusion i want to thank all the builders on the mad max world we've had some fantastic events we've had some crazy player inspired events as well that have just been completely off the bat madness and I've really enjoyed covering this world so far. So if you're interested in joining the world, there is some links down in the description below of how you can get involved with the Mad Max server. It is a totally different experience, something that is extremely experimental, but at the same time can be really rewarding to try playing Space Engineers a little bit differently. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.